Hey guys, welcome welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami. Let's carry on where we left off. We've taken quite the detour the past couple of episodes, taking care of sub-stories, training our dragon of Dojima style with both Kamaki and Majima. We even got Majima to rank S, and we unlocked the Tiger Drop ability, which is the most OP maneuver in the game so far. So no doubt we're going to be able to take over the Tojo clan soon enough with that. I mean, someone has to succeed Sarah, right? In the meantime, let's focus on the story. <laughs> Is Ayaka here? Oh, well, welcome, by the way. Hello! Kazuma Kiryu's here. I'm not looking to tiger drop you, I promise. That's reserved for my enemies. Oh, damn. Yeah. Kiryu, you need to brush your teeth. Smell an alcohol in my breath. Forger. Uh, <laughs> I'm not looking for a sword. Oh man, two sets of dots. Oh, nice save there, Ayaka. Poor old naive care you falling for it. もう、そんなことより楽しく飲みましょうよ。焼酎でいいかしら。That's <laughs> いや、そういうわけじゃない。ごめんなさいね。あ、お題は結構ですよ。だって何も飲んでないじゃない。ああ、thank <laughs> Alright. Sorry guys, you should have waited at least five more minutes until I cleared the area. Who were those guys? They went inside. <laughs> Ayaka wasn't suspicious, but these guys certainly were. Let's go with it. Oh damn, where the hell was he keeping that sword? I think Ayaka's offended someone. <laughs> She's not having a good night. At least I asked nicely. Oh, damn! Mama! Whoa! Okay. Girl power. I like it. I, I didn't even need to do anything. Go after Ayaka. Uh, welcome. Uh, well, <laughs> you had a scimitar aimed right at the throats. Okay, well, you catch your breath, and uh, we'll see you later then, maybe. Ah! I have nothing to do with this! I can chat in Mama! I have no idea what's going on! Alright, well, yeah. Given that he didn't run out the door with them, I can... Surely see he is unrelated to whatever operation they've got going on. So it looks like the two of them are in cahoots. Perhaps the mama is the forger. Oh dear. Where is he? Public Park 3. What the hell? These guys beat me here? How the heck? Damn, they recover quick. Are these guys with the triads? Because those are Chinese broadswords. Damn. The blatant attack in a park. Uh -huh. Guys are obsessed with passports. Also, I was first in line. You know, I blew up the highway with you guys. <laughs> hey, only Majima can call me Kiryu-chan. 
お前ら細々とパスポート作りの内職か黙れお前のおかげで俺たちどんだけ苦しんだかぶっ殺すぞ OK、All、right We'll see about that. Luckily, I can't make you guys explode this time. <laughs> no Kwame move for you. You don't even deserve the respect of such a move. Okay. Well, thankfully, I didn't slice your head off. So I can't call you dead meat exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Oh, I thought you were going to say that you were going to say that you were going to say that you were going to say <laughs> okay, I guess we're wandering back. Where'd the bodies go? Did we cremate them in the barrel of fire? <laughs> Where'd all the Chinese men disappear off to? Hopefully there aren't any more Chinese triads lurking about. I'd really like a passport now. That was fast. It's like you overheard our conversation, and you knew straight away. Yeah. He's still, uh, whereabouts unknown. Whoa. Wow, that's a lot to ask. An entirely new identity. Could it be? The only two people I can think of are Yumi and Haruka. Perhaps we don't know Haruka's true identity, and that's why uh, there's a politician involved sending the MIA after her. Or maybe he's hiding Yumi somewhere. And, I mean, she's responsible for the, the heist, or at least that's what it's uh, made to appear to be like, so, given that her ring was left behind at the, at the vault. So, what on earth? What's Kazuma up to? Wait, hadn't there been mention of a driver's license and uh, another kind of thing? So, probably not Haruka. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards Yumi. I swear Kazuma's always coming up with these elaborate schemes and whatnot behind the scenes. Kiryu-san! There you are. Fake passport, as requested. You are now a citizen of Japan. Cool. Now, uh, membership card, please. What? Are you kidding me? I mean, you know, not that it was a lot of work for me, but still. I kind of like bargains. <laughs> Held up, you know. I don't believe shit. Screw you. Give me that passport back right now. Oh, did he give you a fake passport that allowed you to stay in this country with your brother? Oh yeah, totally. I'm sure he will be. That's a familiar thing. This better be a million yen. 
An Italian necklace? What am I supposed to do with this? Don't, no, what? No, I want my passport back. That's mine. One star review. What the heck? I'm never going to Club Shine ever again. Fuck that place. Jesus. Scammed. This time, it was a serious scam. A scam to do with the main story. Is this chapter going to be just me running errands for people until I can finally get my hands on a membership card for Shangri-La? I swear. In here. Who am I speaking with? Uh, you, I guess. Before I get attacked. You will? お前が桃源郷の会員証を持っていると神明から聞いたんだが。神明。なんであなたが神明よ。ああ、よ。ちょっと。She can't me. So please. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, yeah, I didn't. At this point, it was easier for me to just pay the million yen for the car. I've got the money. Yeah, I guess so. 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 Oh, what? How about you just give it to me? Huh? Yes. I will pummel you with the tiger drop. You will fly through that wall. You know this? <sighs> I haven't slept. I'm agitated. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fine, I'll make a freaking deal. Tolgen Kyo no Kain Showa. Okay, let's start. Let's uh, you know, let's negotiate. Let's start at the bottom. Hundred thousand yen. Oh, too bad, so sad. So in the end, I have to freaking pay money. Okay, three hundred thousand yen. Just for the principle of this, I feel like I could uh, just go ahead and buy the million yen one. Okay, at least he's all except three hundred thousand yen. And you've helped me towards my completion list. But I am not happy. Yeah, sure. Oh, don't worry. I have no intention of meeting her again. Give her a piece of my mind if I do. Alright. Card secured. Cost me money. And time and energy. But I suppose I did a good deed. I protected the forger from getting chopped into pieces. So there's that. You know what? I'm soured by this entire experience. I'm going to do a sub story. Here we are. This is the place for meat and camarocho. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to show this guy a barbecue joint. He must have been waiting for so long. He must be so hungry. Like that hungry boy up on uh, Park Boulevard. Wow. It looks pretty expensive. You're going to be okay picking up the tab here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I picking up the tab? Wait, what? I'm just showing you around. Why does everyone try to scam me out of my money? I worked hard for this, you know. <laughs> just kidding. I've got money. So you just enjoy yourself. Oh, thank God. Okay. Shinohara, you're not so bad. Uh, sure. Well, let's do this. You know, if you're running short on money, I'm sure you can go to the Colosseum in Purgatory. Welcome. Can I take your order? Yes, I'll take everything. <laughs> hey, that's what I do when I'm trying to do my completion list. You mean you'd like one of every item on the menu? Mada, mada. Of course not. I want an amount of meat equal to the mass of one full-grown cow. Eh? What? I, uh, I mean, of course, sir. The customer's always right. Um, would you like it with sauce or salt and pepper? Both, obviously. What kind of monster you think I am? Both? Wait, you mean you want two cows? Hey. Yes. R right away then, sir. And <laughs> Curry's like, who is... I, I don't know this man. Well, he's still walking, so that's good. He's not that full. Wow, that was really delicious. Oh, what a great choice. Mm. You certainly have a way with food. Not many people out there could eat two whole cows of meat. Anyway, what do you want to do next? Mm. I'd like to get some drinks, actually. And drinks? 
Uh, okay, I know a good bar near here. I can take you there if you want. Is it gonna be Vincent? Mata, That's the only Mata. bar I know. Or it could be Shellac. Man, I'm starting to really know Kamurocha. It's scary. It's like I live here now. <laughs> oh, come on, a bar? You should know better than that, Kiryu-san. Many. Uh-huh. We're going to drink at Kamurocho. It's gotta be at a cabaret club. Uh. Oh, right. I understand now. Well, you know, there's Club Sunshine, but that's in, uh, Sotenbori, and I heard that's the premier club in all of Japan. I've always wanted to go to a cabaret club, so this is my golden opportunity. Please, take me there. <clears throat> well, you certainly have no shame. I suppose the closest one would be Jewel, so we can give that a shot. Hopefully the Snake Flower Triad aren't there, otherwise, you know, we're gonna get into another scrap again. Hey! Okay! <laughs> Well, it, it literally is just down the road. Let's go. Here we are. Well, we're here. Do you need a passport forged? Let's have a good fight! Whoa, okay, well, you know, I'm not expecting to get into a, a scrap Whoa. here. Whoa, why are you yelling? Oh, sorry. The old habits die hard. I used to always yell that when I entered a room. <sighs> well, you're going to have to relax, okay? I don't want you getting drunk and judo throwing anyone, especially the, the women in the cabaret club, please. <laughs> Wow, you're so well built. Do you play sports? Yeah. Well, sort of. Uh, a long time ago I did. <laughs> oh, I love a man with some muscle tone. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Shall we have champagne? Oh, what a dynamic man. One gold for this p fine piece of man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold that order. <laughs> oh, he didn't want the gold? No, that's not it at all. But just one bottle? Oh, let's not be stingy here. <laughs> Let's see, I'm sure the four of us could take on our own bottle each. Uh, so I think we need four golds. <laughs> wow, you know how to party, Shinohara-san. Since you're spending big, I'm really going to sit on your lap now. <laughs> you heard the man. Four bottles of gold. <laughs> Gary's happy. I don't think we had to pay our share for it. Didn't think you were the type to order four bottles of champagne. You sure know how to liven up a cabaret. <laughs> nah, that was nothing out of the ordinary. If I go drinking, that's how I'm going to do it. I see this guy, uh, you know, doesn't hold back when it comes to life. Good on him. I see. I guess you're just an all-around party animal. So, what do you want to do next? Mm. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong? You didn't like the club? Yeah. No, that's not it. The girls were pretty hot. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but, uh, I haven't found anything that's really excited me yet. Manny. You're looking for excitement? I know you're looking for a fight. Let's just go to Purgatory. I'll take you to the Coliseum. You can try to become a champion. Like I am. Yeah. Well, there's no point coming all the way to Kamurocha to have the same kind of fun I could have anywhere. I want to try something only a city like this could offer. A one-of-a-kind experience. Well, I mean, it depends. Some alleys, Majima's hiding in a bin. Other alleys, he's hiding in the trunk of a car. So, I think only that can be experienced here in Kamurocho. So maybe if you stick around me long enough, I'm sure, you know, the one-eyed man will surprise you. <clears throat> I see. So the normal tourist attractions won't cut it. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be ungracious when you've gone so far out of your way to show me around. That's fine, you know. I I'm not exactly having a ball of a time either after getting scammed by Shinmei. My whole life, Judo's all I've known. I'm sure you can see why I'm totally lost in a nightlife town. But I still want to find something more geared toward my interests. Mm. I suppose you wouldn't find a place like that too easily. Actually, I might have an idea. What? Really? Uh. Yeah. I think I know a place that'll be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you. You really think so? Please, take me there. Yeah, it's the bowling alley just down the road. There's only one place I know in Kamurocha that could satisfy a judo master like Shinohara. That's where I'll take him. Come. I hope you got your pocket circuit car ready. I'll beat you there. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. At least I didn't knock your glasses off. That seems to be a common occurrence uh. here as well. Yeah, no worries. Did I just get pickpocketed again? Did he just pickpocket her? He didn't even touch her. Oh. Hey! My money's gone! 50,000 yen was stolen! Oh! Hey, it counted as spending money though, I'll take it. Damn it! That guy was a pickpocket! M my wallet's gone! Really? What? Hey, were you pickpocketed too? Yes! When I looked away for a second, a man bumped into me. Next thing I knew, my wallet was missing. I don't even have any pockets, so I don't even know where he <laughs> somehow picked that out of my pocket. Jeez, this town is the worst sometimes. Really, this is a string of bad luck. Can you remember what this guy looked like? Mm, let's see, he was wearing glasses and a gray suit, 
And over that, he had on a beige coat. Glasses, gray suit, and a beige coat. Right. He seemed to be running towards Shichifuku Street. Got it. Leave it to me. I'll find and catch him. <sighs> oh no, my Christmas bonus was in there. Can't allow him to victimize any more people. I'll start looking around Shichifuku Street. Ugh, damn, do I have to do that now? Never mind, I've hatched the plan to get my money back. Fight the man in the golden suit. I know you're not the pickpocket, but uh, I'm gonna stoop that low. There you are, I see you. I thought the pickpocket came this way. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I don't think you're the guy with the glasses and the gray suit with the beige coat. Bunch of guys over here are wearing the same outfit. Oh man, it's a police lineup. I need to remember the pickpocket's description. Pretty sure it's this guy right here. Before I get into another fight. Is this the pickpocket? Uh, I'm fairly sure. I'll accuse him. Let's do it. Oi. Hey, you're the pickpocket. Give me back my money. Uh, so you have seen through my special stealth technique. The can't see the tree for the forest ability. Dude, you kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. I mean, if you were all standing in a bunch, maybe you'd get away with it. Huh. Hiding in plain sight's kind of obvious. This happened uh, ten years ago as well, you know. <laughs> but I have no intention of giving back the money so easily. <sighs> Here we go. Nanny. What? Now you will face the secret art of assassination, passed down to me by my father from generations of master thieves. Okay, so you want to do this the hard way. Oh, God. Not this again. I will tiger drop your ass. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. That lady's so happy. She saw my brute strength. So your father was also a pickpocket. Uh, I'm really sorry. I won't do this anymore, I swear. I'm going to get out of this business, so please forgive me. 70,000 yen. Okay. And you'll return the money to your other victims? Yes, of course. Right away. Okay, bye! Hey, that's not where the lady with the Christmas bonus is. That should send a message to pickpockets and Gamarocho. Uh-oh. Got a message from Majima. Run away now. Kiri-chan, there are some weird guys following you. I've seen him because I'm watching you, of course. Today there were a ton more than usual. Kind of worried for you. This keeps up. You and your girl are going to be in big trouble. But don't even sweat it. I got a plan. Hitch a ride in that taxi in front of the park. I talked to the driver and everything is cool, but don't dawdle. Get in that taxi right away. He sounded sincere for once in his life. For for once his life. There's still time before Shangri-La opens, so maybe I'll take much of his advice. Okay, well, hang on, let me feed the starving child first. So hungry. I can give you some food. Here's some ramen. I'll keep the sushi for myself. If you're hungry, you can have this. Wow, really? Oh, thanks, mister. <laughs> I was super hungry. Thank you so much, mister. Yeah. It's nothing. Truly, it's nothing. It's the cheapest food I could buy. Make sure you chew before you swallow, though, huh? Even though it's, you yeah, know, noodles. You're gonna be swallowing a lot. Okay. <laughs> mm, tastes so good. Alright, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna introduce my friend to Purgatory, and then we'll catch the taxi. There's still some time until Shangri-La opens tonight, so I guess I'll follow Majima-san's instructions. Never mind. Sorry, my touristy friend. You're gonna have to find it on your own. Oh, looky here. We're back in this area. There you are, Kiri-chan. He said coming here would shake off those guys. <laughs> Not exactly. You'll get your chance to shake him off soon enough. What? Swear to God, can no one be straight with me? I just want 100% honesty from someone in this game. Look, here comes the pack of goons now. Oh. Okay. Never mind, he was honest. I guess he just wanted to join in the fun. Good. I finally got you cornered, Kiryu. Uh, huh? I've been waiting for this moment, Kiryu. You think going away for ten years would just erase your sins? Think again. If that's what this is about, then you must be ex Dojima. I already beat you guys up. Ah, now I get it. I knew you boys were persistent, but it's all coming together now. That means mm. you buttballs have been sitting around planning this day for the last ten years. What a goddamn waste of life. <laughs> buttballs. <laughs> I gotta use that sometime. Majima-san, stay out of this, if you would. This is an internal family issue. Uh, does the Dojima family even exist anymore? Huh? I don't give two hot shits. Nobody gets in the way of my fight with Kiryu-chan. <coughs> what? Come on, Kiryu-chan. Let's roast these meatheads so we can get on with our fight. <laughs> so that's why you brought me here. 
I should have known. You're psycho, Majima. Doesn't matter. We're gonna end this here, Kiryu. Men, kill them both. You only just realizing he's a psychotic lunatic? He has been for the last 10 years. Former Dojima family members. Let's do this. Get the guy with the gun. I like how I'm basically uh, only using dragon style now, exclusively. It's great. I, I love it. It's gotten to a point where it's powerful enough for me to rely on. Sure, uh, some fights are still a bit slower. And I'm sure I could upgrade it even further if I actually uh, chase after these Majima email clues. So thank you for reminding me they are to do with mini games, uh, usually around town. So if I had to guess what's on Shichifuku Street, it would be the pocket circuit racing. Maybe he's going to intervene with that. Uh, I still have the club shine one I need to do. I've done the bowling one. I can't remember if there was another uh, <laughs> email to respond to. I'm sure I'll find it. I like how much it was just a little cackling maniacally in the background. Oh, damn. He's got the freaking mad dog fighting style look. <laughs> this guy's just getting absolutely overwhelmed. Alright. <laughs> no need for the rapid fire. Ah, shit. I'll show you a shot. A perfect drive. Oh, I love it. It doesn't wear out while I'm in my calm state. Urgh. Oh, no. Majima. Oh. No. Okay, I don't think he's dead. Surely not. <sighs> you shot my friend! Assholes. This has really been a horrible 24 hours. Majima! He's not coming up, but did he really? Hmm. I don't have time to worry about him. Kazuma-san is my main concern. I should get going to Shangri-La. Dude, Gary, you can't even spare like five minutes to go check if he's in the water at the very least? I don't have time to lose. I'm just going to walk really slowly back to the taxi. Damn, Kiryu, that's ice cold. No wonder it's snowing now. Jeez. Okay, well, I can only hope Majima's okay. I'm sure he is, but damn, that is cold. All right, from one fighting arena to another. Where are we? An underground arena. Fighters come from all over the world to battle here, day in and day out. It's a different kind of combative sport. A combative sporting event, you say? Yes, Shinohara, and if you get shot or stabbed, I'm just going to dump your ass and walk away, all right? Because that's what I do now. Uh. The type of strength you'd never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. How far do you think your judo skills can take you? You amaze me to no end, Kiryu-san. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I ever made. Men. Huh? I mean, I shouldn't really just bring you along here willy-nilly. I don't know if the florist is going to be happy about that. Especially after the recent raid by the three colored gangs. <laughs> this is the kind of experience I've been looking for. I think this will be the kind of excitement I was craving. Mm. Huh. Sounds like you're willing to give it a go. Hey. Yes. I'm going to go enter right now. Okay, good luck. I'm going to bet on you. <laughs> All right. Amazing. You won those three matches like they were nothing. So even the fighters of this underground arena are barely a warm-up for you, huh? Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that. Because, I guess the fight were, was over so quickly. Yeah. No, everyone was really strong. Well, I wouldn't say I won any of those matches with ease. Mm -hmm. Really? Then why do you still look so dissatisfied? I'll observe it of you, Kurisan. You're right. I'm not satisfied yet. <sighs> not even the fighters here could give me the experience and excitement I seek. Yeah, unfortunately you gotta fight them like 20 times before you can unlock the next stage of fights, you know, like weapons only and so on and so forth. Mm. I see. But I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me satisfaction. Uh, you're not looking at me, are you? Cool. And that man is? I can tell you, there's a guy upstairs, his name's Kamaki. He'll, he'll teach you things. <laughs> you, curious son. Nani. What? Nani? The first time we met, I saw everything. I saw how you tore down that punk. You moved like a dragon. It was amazing. You have something that none of the fighters here do. 
Oh, wow. Thank you for uh, helping me discover a Missikin card. Mm. Huh. So you're saying you want to fight me in the ring? Hey! Yes! Would you do me the honor? Uh. Uh, I'm the champion, you know, you gotta earn your stripes. You gotta qualify if you want to face off against me. But sure, of course, I can make an exception. I accept your challenge. Okay, let's do this. Oh, wow. He brought his change of clothes. Shinichi. Let's do this. Oh. Just remember, you asked for it, <laughs> Shinohara. Let's do this. Come on, stop rolling on the floor like a baby. Get on up. <laughs> Haven't seen that move yet. Off me. I've turned this judo match into a sumo one. There <laughs> you go. No tiger drop. Victory. Okay. Surely you're satisfied now. There's a weak smile on his face. I can see it. Look, he's like a happy little baby. Kisan, you're exactly the man I thought I knew you'd be. I gave it everything I had, but you still defeated me. Yeah. No, your moves were more intense than I ever could have imagined. I'm surprised I won, honestly. I'm not, but, you know, Kiryu, come on. Too humble. <laughs> humble Kiryu. I have nothing but the utmost gratitude for you, Kiryu-san. I'm glad I came to Kamarocho. Boy. Does that mean you're leaving? Yeah. No. I'm going to stay here and keep improving my skills. So that if I ever have another opportunity to fight you, I can make sure I win. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Then I'll have to keep improving, too. <laughs> I haven't felt so alive since I retired. I'm looking forward to facing you again, Kiryu-san. Okay, well, I'm glad that uh, you succeeded in your pursuit of pleasure. Okay, friends, why are we just standing outside when it's snowing? It could be indoors. I mean, I get there's a barrel of fire here, but still. Oh, really? Are you serious? I have to bring her to Shangri-La? Oh my god, okay. Do I take Haruka with me to Shangri-La? <laughs> well... I'm not ready, it just means that I'm going to have more time to free roam. I'll take you. But well, you always wanted to go to one of these places, Haruka. Okay, you don't have to look so pleased about it. Jeez, because I'm certainly not. Okay, let's go. I am the worst chaperone ever. First, I take her to like a gambling club where <laughs> we discover the dealer is cheating, so we get into a massive fight. Oh. Now I'm taking her to Shangri La. Who knows what we're gonna find out in this place? Oh, now we gotta fight these guys. Yeah, Arka, keep running. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. See, easy peasy. 200 enemies defeated on the street. I should probably eat something because my health is low. And, uh, yeah, there's another rich guy. He can pay for our meal. All right, we're here. I can't say this is what I expected Shangri-La to be. I thought it might have been, uh, where the Maharaja used to be. But yeah, this place, I suppose, looks fancy enough on the outside. Are you ready to see unsavory things? Oh god, she's she's singing about it. Okay. Uh, thankfully I only have one ticket to go inside. Uh, do you mind looking after this girl? I don't know. Maybe just give her a hug or something so she doesn't get cold. Hey! <laughs> you look like... You look like, um... Oh, what's, his, what's his name? I forgot what his name is. The guy who helped, uh, Majima. <laughs> With the cabaret club. He's moved to Kamurocho. You don't think I know that, but I don't have a choice. Hey, you know, last time someone greeted me like this, he was a human shield. Someone shot a machine gun at him. Do you want that to be you? That's what I thought. <laughs> but can she stay at the front desk, though? <笑>当店のご案内をさせていただきます。当店は <笑> But of course. So there's only four girls. 
He's hiding in here, is he? That bloody Kazuma! Sorry to cut you off there, uh, Arka. Hey, stop complaining. Come on, keep up. Uh, where are we going? No, we're not yeah. splitting up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Customers catch you. They'll be very concerned about this establishment. I just know there's gonna be a long battle here. Like, look at this place. It's, it's just ripe for a, a long battle, I guess, on the way back down. Looks like we're going towards the top floor, Arka, even though there's only four girls on duty. I guess so. I think that says empty. And yeah, we got a cutscene, so. Oh my, have you been like that the entire time? Not shocked to see a little girl? Kiryu. Okay. Shinji kara kiite nai ka? Kiryu? Anata ga? Ah. Sore sha Shin-chan wa mou. Yeah. I guess. I guess I'm the contingency. Saigo ni atta toki kara itte ta no. Jibun ni moshi mo no koto ga atta ra anata ga tazunete kuru ka moshirenai itte. Damn, he knew. His time was limited. It was a good, it was a good lad, man. We hardly got to know him. He was a loyal soldier. He always had my back. Please don't smoke in front of the child. Are you sure it was his associate? Omi-Lengo. Okay.場所。Unless his name was on it, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Majima! Oh shit! Well, I guess he's alive and well. After all. Come to cause chaos and destruction, what the hell did he do that for? Yeah, there's this guy. He's always stalking me. He's everywhere. I guess he decided to make an entrance. He really wants to fight me. I don't know, but I knew it was a bad idea to bring you along. Jeez, Date. Couldn't the florist have looked after her? Jeez. Go outside? Well, yeah, I've got no choice, do I? Let's go. Here we are. Long battle music. Long battle goons. Go to the lobby. Gladly. Alright, guys. I've trained for this. Welcome to the Kamaki School! I am his most prized people. As I drop kick the wall. Majima, I swear to god. Are you testing me? Are you guys with the Majima family? Let's put some variations in our moves. You know, some grabs here and there. Uppercuts. Drop kicks. Heat moves. Oh yeah. Love it. DDT. Yeah, it's easy to just stick with the dragon style. It'd be nice to switch it around a brawl or two while we're at it. Just to get some variety. No backflip on that drop kick. Lotion bottle. Ah! Oh no, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Heat move. Cheers. Gosh. How many of you are there? I guess uh, Majima brought a truckload. Seriously though, is Majima working with Nishiki or something? Why the heck did he bust into here? Do they know Haruka's here? Tell me! Sasahara? Oh wait, you can't. I basically bashed your brains in. Apologies. Ah oh, yes, of course, a random sledgehammer just lying on the ground there. <laughs> oh god! He's still alive! <laughs> well, obviously. Ow. Okay, alright. Can't believe <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't, like, dump that on his face. I'll take that back, thank you very much! <sighs> Jeez, child's play up here. I'll just run past, to be honest. Hmm, spat serving me well. Forget the gun. Oh, just like that. We're finished. We only had to go down, what, two flights of stairs? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are you really surprised? <laughs> you okay, dude? Is he a... what? Huh? I mean, I know this came out before Yakuza 0, but it's just so weird seeing him do something like this. I can't imagine. Hmm? <laughs> Oh. Do you remember what that's like so to cool. love someone? So It's just so hard to reconcile his character after what we've seen. I mean, obviously, again, Yakuza Zero came out a long time after this. But, man, he's great. We can hardly read him. ひとの顔色うかがったりせんと俺がそうやからなそうかいこの間いいとこでジャマが入るよったいつがんスタンプショットあ、ベースボールとでヘッドメイビーだっすわっこうしておりますああ、はい、マジマ。あ、はっぱ
Okay, I, I know I said proper fight, but I'm gonna throw a rock at I love the lighting down here, I gotta say. In the darkness. Just me and you, the dragon and the mad dog. Been waiting for this <laughs> super speed dragon. During critical health. Oh, okay, maybe it's too critical now. Sorry, I had to finish it off like that. Especially to your uh, bullet wound. Good to you. The dragon's back, baby. I won't pretend I understand your intentions, Majima. Why the hell did you just bust into there? あの女が君か。辛いだろうな。だってさ。風間の親さんの居場所が分かった。どうだ。芝浦の不当だ。大見連合の寺だって男が巧まっているらしい。ハイディングも<笑> キリュ。<笑> Guess so. Time to reunite with Kazuma, hopefully. He's there this time. <sighs> it's been a long night. I don't think I'm gonna take uh, Haruka to the boat this time around. Surely you guys can look after her? Date, you're off the clock. Come on. Get your shit together. 